Why are you fixing her hair? That's a lot. Damn. I look like shit. You're awkward on camera a little bit. I look like shit. I look like shit. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, what's going on guys? So, Corn and I left from Miami uh, about at like around 2.30 and it's like 4.57. And basically, yeah, this is the start of our trip. As you guys saw from the first clip of the video, we have a U-Haul in the back that is so pat, like, you can't fit a fucking, like, tack. One tack could not fit in the back of that U-Haul truck. And it took us about 40 minutes to get the U-Haul truck out of our, like, apartment complex because (laughs) we had to back out and it was a shit show. And then, you know, like we were blocking like this area, packed up all day, and it took us like all day. We had to get the truck, we had to go to Walmart, we had to do all these things. So we didn't end up leaving until 2.30 in the morning because Cornelius was like fiending to leave. He's like, I need to leave. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Now, 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 now. We did it, and we're both super tired right now. It's literally 5 a.m., but yeah, we're, we're, um, we're heading there, man. We're on our way to Denver. We have a, a 12-foot trailer behind us, and Cornelius has gone about 70, and all of a sudden the truck started wobbling all over the place. We got horrible speed wobbles, so we looked it up, and you're not supposed to go over like 55 with um, with one of these U-Haul trailers in the back, so we literally have cruise control going like 60 miles an hour, 55, 60 the entire trip, so... It's gonna be a long one, and I'm gonna film for you guys. We're gonna vlog this, and then when we get there, uh, this is probably gonna be a super long video, but um, I apologize for not uploading for a while already because I know it's gonna be a while. I haven't trained in three days because, you know, I had to travel here. We had to take care of a bunch of shit so that we could move. We had to pack, we had to do all this stuff. So it's pretty much gonna be like almost a week off the gym. And you know the diet's not going to be as on point as we want to we want it to be, but honestly, it is what it is. Um, sometimes you just gotta roll with life, and you know what I mean. We'll get right back on it as soon as we get there. But um, yeah, anyways, we'll catch back up with you guys a little bit later. But I just want to update you guys on kind of what's going on right now. And uh, I have to vlog this whole thing because I just want to look back on it, honestly. When we get there, if we get there, bro, if it's we somehow nuts. get there in one it's, piece, it's absolutely nuts. No. Yeah. Just pulled up to my grandmom's house, which is like a six and a half hour drive um, from Miami where we just were. But the thing is, it's directly on the way. So like basically we were passing it on the highway and we're super tired. We haven't slept literally since yesterday morning um, or sorry, yesterday. we haven't slept since yesterday night. So we're like, yeah, we need to get some sleep. So we're going to sleep right now for a while. And then we're going to hop back on the road later. We're going to be on the road for New Year's. But um, yeah, this is the setup at the grandma's. You guys probably remember from my vlog on the way to Miami, we stopped here as well. Um, for, like, you know, on, from on the way from Jersey. So we got the double bed set up right here. Like, cause when, like when we start driving, in the wind. No, it's fine. Well, that wind's gonna catch up in there. If you Where? It's gonna go in there. Well, that. Yeah, I know. That's why I have... All right, so we're making this like makeshift little. We have like a makeshift little tarp over the back of the over the bed of my truck. So just in case it rains throughout our journey, it doesn't ruin all of our stuff. And we're gonna hope that it does it the job that it's supposed to do. So, all right. Is this thing so are you good on this side? No. What? You got this side to do yet. What? No, just tuck it in here. Yeah. Cornelius and I are currently in Georgia, I believe, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're in Georgia right now. We have to go through Tennessee, and then we go through Missouri, and then we go through Kansas, and then we get to Denver. But when well, we get to Colorado and then Denver. But, um... Yeah, it just like basically became the new year about an hour and 15 minutes ago. Cornelius and I have been driving, so we didn't really celebrate on New Year's or anything like that, which is like the first year that that's happened in a while for myself, and I don't know, probably the same for Cornelius. But um, yeah, I just want to hop on here and talk to you guys about uh, mindset going into 2020. So essentially, like I was thinking earlier, just about my entire year, like my entire 2019, I feel like sometimes, you know, we don't give ourselves credit 
for the things that we've done over the entire year and the growth that we made, the people that we've met, like, you know, the relationships we've built, you know, all the things that we've done. I was thinking back about everything that I did and it really made me think that there's so many things that I get to bring into 2020 that I can utilize and help me grow that, you know, were things that, you know, I'd probably looked at as negative when they happen. All those, you know, all the shitty things that happened to you in 2019, just learn from those things and then make sure they don't happen in 2020 and bring all that good ass energy that you did have in 2019 into 2020 and compound on top of it. Hey guys, I just want to say happy new years and honestly, thank you guys so much for all the support over 2019. I mean, it's been insane. I'm really excited to do another prep series for 2020, which I obviously the first time I ever did one uh, was in 2019. And it was Road to the Stage, which obviously a lot of you guys probably were following or saw some of those. And we're going to make another one, and it's going to be 10 times better. Um, the other thing I wanted to say really quick is, like, I, I started the, uh, the series on my channel um, just bigger. And I had the intro and everything like that. But honestly, I felt like I was, I was kind of half-assing it a little bit. And I wasn't able to put everything into it. So, essentially, that's why I'm not, you know maintaining that series and just filming videos as much as I can because my everything's been so hectic recently so like basically since we've been in Miami so essentially once we get to Denver there's gonna be more frequent videos but it's not gonna be a series until the new series starts for prep so yeah This shit's getting old. <laughs> it's getting old fast. We just had to pull over right now and basically get air in the tires air and the tires. get gas for the 9,000th time. Guys, so we just got our new fob, new keys to the new place. We're super fucking hyped to be here. I'm sorry if like some of this vlog was like drawn out boring, but I don't know. I just want to bring you guys along on this process from, you know, you guys have literally been along when I moved into my first apartment and then Miami now here. But um, yeah, anyways, Cornelius and I have to move all the shit in there, all the shit in here and everything here into the apartment. We gotta return the U-Haul, I wanna get a car wash, and just all this crap we have to do. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just gonna kinda like, you know, get working on doing all that stuff, but in the next clip, uh, I'm gonna show you guys a drone shot of the unit and literally how it looks, how the balcony looks on the outside. But we're not gonna show you like an apartment tour until probably like the next video. So, yeah, peace out. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, you're fucked. We missed an elevator. Guys, so we're making progress in here. Everything looks just so much cleaner, nicer. We're getting stuff done, but um, right now, my room is still a complete mess. We had to, this is what we're doing for pre-workout. 
Just got some pineapples, strawberries, and then two ribeye steaks cooked in some oil. And then we got some Icon Meals tequila lime that I'm gonna put on top of that as well. My shit cut. I look like shit. Yeah. This vlog's kind of all over the place and it's probably super long at this point, so I'm gonna end it pretty soon. After we're gonna, right now we're gonna head to get some food. Um, and after that we're gonna go to the gym and we're gonna hit a leg workout at our new gym, which is called Arm Bros. It's a super cool gym. It's like, it's a gym that we actually filmed that last time that we were here while we were in Denver. Um, but right now, yeah, we're just kind of exploring the city a little bit, walking around, and we're gonna find some food to eat because we have not eaten yet. So when we find a place, we'll show you guys. I'm excited to go eat because like, I want to try out all these places. There's a shit ton of places right by our apartment. So let's go find something. What's going on, guys? Sorry it's pretty loud here. We're at this place called the Milk Market. And it's really dope. So there's like a bunch of like, little restaurants all inside, like one big place. Um, so we went to this place. We got some chicken clubs right here. Actually looks really good. I didn't know the chicken's fried, but yeah, it looks really good. And I also have an acai bowl coming, so I'll show you guys that as well. But um, this is probably a place I'm going to come and do a lot of work as well on my computer because there's like a lot of like cool coffee shops in there. Just show up, like, show up and around. Them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're going to kill this down and I'll show you guys what I'm going All right, what is going on, lads and ladies, if you're watching this? Right now, we're currently about to head over to the gym, and we're gonna hit a leg workout. Now, the workouts that Cornelius and I always run, the Power Effect workouts for level two, they always have a squat workout at the beginning of them because I do heavily believe in squats, but today, we only have an hour to work out because we didn't realize the gym closed at eight tonight on, the, what was it, Saturday? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, ha we're gonna have to run over there and just get like an hour workout, and so squats for us, they take a while, 30, 40 minutes, so, you don't need squats in your workout, okay? You don't need any single exercise. You can always do other movements that are going to, you know, go under the same results, but you're just gonna have to do more of them. You know, squat is one of the best leg movements, you know, probably the best one, but there's other movements that you can do. Um, and, you know, adding in some extra volume and things like that to actually still get the same effect. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go over and we're gonna do a no squatting leg workout, but it's still gonna be, an amazing workout um so i'm gonna pop that up on the screen if you guys are ever you know like if you guys are ever basically have if you guys ever have to do a budget leg workout aka a time restricted leg workout then use this workout it's like i said not what we would usually do for the power effect or what we usually do but essentially this is what we're kind of stuck with today so we're going to make the best of it and we're going to have a really good workout um i'm going to pop the workout up on the next screen and then yeah I'm not going to be talking for the rest of this video, so enjoy the workout, guys, and then um, I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to do a little apartment tour, so peace out. Yeah.